Pasteurization or pasteurization is a process invented by French scientist Louis Pasteur during the 19th century. Pasteur discovered that heating milk to a high temperature then swiftly cooling it before bottling it, enabled the milk to remain fresher for an extended period of time. Today the process of pasteurizatin is used widely in the drinks and food industry. This process slows spoilage caused by microbial growth. Unlike sterilization, pasteurization is not intended to kill all microorganisms in the food. Instead, it aims to reduce the number of viable pathogens so they are unlikely to cause disease. Commercial scale sterilization of food is not common because it adversely affects the taste and quality of the product. Certain foods, such as dairy products, may be superheated to ensure pathogenic microbes are destroyed. Alcoholic beverages, the process of heating wine for preservation purposes has been known in China since 1117, and was documented in Japan in the Diary to Mun in Nikki, written by a series of monks between 1478 and 1618. Much later, in 1768, an Italian priest and scientist Lazzaro Spallanzani proved experimentally that heat killed bacteria, and that they do not reappear if the product is hermetically sealed. In 1795, a Parisian chef and confectioner named Nicolas Appert began experimenting with ways to preserve foodstuffs, succeeding with soups, vegetables, juices, dairy products, jellies, jams, and syrups. He placed the food in glass jars, sealed them with cork and sealing wax and placed them in boiling water. In that same year, the French military offered a cash prize of 12,000 francs for a new method to preserve food. After some 14 or 15 years of experimenting, Appert submitted his invention and won the prize in January 1810. Later that year, Appert published L'Art de conserver les substances animals et bar copyright gar copyright tales. This was the first cookbook of its kind on modern food preservation methods. La Maison Appert, in the town of Massy, near Paris, became the first food bottling factory in the world, preserving a variety of food in sealed bottles. Appert's method was to fill thick, large-mouthed glass bottles with produce of every description, ranging from beef and fowl to eggs, milk and prepared dishes. His greatest success for publicity was an entire sheep. He left air space at the top of the bottle, and the cork would then be sealed firmly in the jar by using a vise. The bottle was then wrapped in canvas to protect it, while it was dunked into boiling water and then boiled for as much time as Appert deemed appropriate for cooking the contents thoroughly. Appert patented his method, sometimes called in his honor appetization. Appert's method was so simple and workable that it quickly became widespread. In 1810, British inventor and merchant Peter Durand, also of French origin, patented his own method, but this time in a tin can, so creating the modern-day process of canning foods. In 1812, Englishman Brian Donkeen and John Hall purchased both patents and began producing preserves. Just a decade later, Appert's method of canning had made its way to America. Tin can production was however not common until the beginning of the 20th century, partly because a hammer and chisel were needed to open cans until the invention of a can opener by an Englishman named Yates in 1855. Appert's preservation by boiling involved heating the food to an unnecessarily high temperature, and for an unnecessarily long time, which could destroy some of the flavor of the preserved food. A more timid method was developed by the renowned French chemist and microbiologist Louis Pasteur during his 1864 summer vacation in Arbois, to remedy the frequent acidity of the local wines. He found out experimentally that it is sufficient to heat a young wine to only about 50 a euro 60 AA degrees Celsius for a brief time to kill the microbes, and that the wine could be nevertheless properly aged without sacrificing the final quality. In honor of Pasteur, the process became known as pasteurization. Pasteurization was originally used as a way of preventing wine and beer from souring, and it would be many years before milk was pasteurized. In the United States in the 1870s, it was common for milk to contain contaminants to mask spoilage before milk was regulated. Milk Milk is an excellent medium for microbial growth, and when stored at ambient temperature bacteria and other pathogens soon proliferate. 
The U.S. Centers for Disease Control says improperly handled raw milk is responsible for nearly three times more hospitalizations than any other foodborne disease outbreak, making it one of the world's most dangerous food products. Diseases pasteurization can prevent include tuberculosis, brucellosis, diphtheria, scarlet fever, and Q fever. It also kills the harmful bacteria Salmonella, Listeria, Yersinia, Campylobacter, Staphylococcus aureus, and Escherichia coli 157, H7, among others. Pasteurization is the reason for milk's extended shelf life. High temperature, short time pasteurized milk typically has a refrigerated shelf life of two to three weeks, whereas ultra pasteurized milk can last much longer, sometimes two to three months. When ultra-heat treatment is combined with sterile handling and container technology, it can even be stored unrefrigerated for up to nine months. History Before the widespread urban growth caused by industrialization, people kept dairy cows even in urban areas and the short time period between production and consumption minimized the disease risk of drinking raw milk. However, as urban densities increased and supply chains lengthened to the distance from country to city, raw milk began to be recognized as a source of disease. For example, between 1912 and 1937 some 65,000 people died of tuberculosis contracted from consuming milk in England and Wales alone. Developed countries adopted milk pasteurization to prevent such disease and loss of life, and as a result milk is now widely considered one of the safest foods. A traditional form of pasteurization by scalding and straining of cream to increase the keeping qualities of butter was practiced in England before 1773 and was introduced to Boston in the USA by 1773, although it was not widely practiced in the United States for the next 20 years. It was still being referred to as a new process in American newspapers as late as 1802. Pasteurization of milk was suggested by Franz von Sogslet in 1886. Process Pasteurization typically uses temperatures below boiling, since at very high temperatures, casein missiles will irreversibly aggregate, or curdle. The two main types of pasteurization used today are high temperature, short time and extended shelf life. Ultra-high temperature processing is also used for milk treatment. In the HTST process, milk is forced between metal plates or through pipes heated on the outside by hot water and is heated to 72 AA degrees Celsius for 15 seconds. UHT processing holds the milk at a temperature of 138 AA degrees Celsius for a minimum of 2 seconds. ESL milk has a microbial filtration step and lower temperatures than UHT milk. Milk simply labeled pasteurized is usually treated with the HTST method, whereas milk labeled ultra-pasteurized or simply UHT has been treated with the UHT method. Since 2007, however, it is no longer a legal requirement in European countries to declare ESL milk as ultra-heated. Consequently, it is now often labeled as fresh milk, and just advertised as having an extended shelf life, making it increasingly difficult to distinguish ESL milk from traditionally pasteurized fresh milk. A less conventional, but US FDA legal alternative is to heat milk at 145 AA degree Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. Pasteurization methods are usually standardized and controlled by national food safety agencies. These agencies require that milk be HTST pasteurized to qualify for the pasteurized label. Dairy product standards differ, depending on fat content and intended usage. For example, Pasteurization standards for cream differ from standards for fluid milk, and standards for pasteurizing cheese are designed to preserve the enzyme phosphatase, which aids cutting. In Canada, all milk produced at a processor and intended for consumption must be pasteurized, which legally requires that it be heated to at least 72 AA degrees Celsius for at least 16 seconds, then cooling it to 4 AA degrees Celsius to ensure any harmful bacteria are destroyed. The UK Dairy Products Hygiene Regulations 1995 requires that milk be heat treated for 15 seconds at 71.7 AA degrees Celsius or other effective time temperature combination. A process similar to pasteurization is the mization, which uses lower temperatures to kill bacteria in milk. It allows a milk product, 
such as cheese, to retain more of the original taste, but the mized foods are not considered pasteurized by food regulators. Microwave volumetric heating Microwave volumetric heating is the newest available pasteurization technology. It uses microwaves to heat liquids, suspensions, or semi-solids in a continuous flow. Because MVH delivers energy evenly and deeply into the whole body of a flowing product, it allows for gentler and shorter heating, so that almost all heat-sensitive substances in the milk are preserved. Efficacy the HTST pasteurization standard was designed to achieve a 5 log reduction, killing 99.999% of the number of viable microorganisms in milk. This is considered adequate for destroying almost all yeasts, molds, and common spoilage bacteria and also to ensure adequate destruction of common pathogenic, heat-resistant organisms. As a precaution, modern equipment tests and identifies bacteria in milk being processed. HTST pasteurization processes must be designed so the milk is heated evenly, and no part of the milk is subject to a shorter time or a lower temperature. Even pasteurization without quality control can be effective, though this is generally not permitted for human consumption. A study of farms feeding calves on pasteurized waste milk using a mixture of pasteurization technologies found the resulting pasteurized milk to meet safety requirements at least 92% of the time. An effect of the heating of pasteurization is that some vitamin, mineral, and beneficial bacteria is lost. Soluble calcium and phosphorus decrease by 5%, thiamine and vitamin B12 by 10%, and vitamin C by 20%. However, these losses are not significant nutritionally. Verification Direct microbiological techniques are the ultimate measurement of pathogen contamination, but these are costly and time consuming which means that products are able to spoil by the time pasteurization is verified. As a result of the unsuitability of microbiological techniques, milk pasteurization efficacy is typically monitored by checking for the presence of alkaline phosphatase, which is denatured by pasteurization. B. tuberculosis, the bacterium requiring the highest temperature to be killed of all milk pathogens is killed at similar ranges of temperature and time as those which denature alkaline phosphatase. For this reason, presence of alkaline phosphatase is deemed to be an ideal diagnostic tool for pasteurization efficacy. Phosphatase denaturing was originally monitored using a phenyl phosphate substrate. When hydrolyzed by the enzyme these compounds liberate phenols, which were then reacted with dibromocin nichloramide to give a color change, which itself was measured by checking absorption at 610 ENM. Some of the phenols used were inherently colored and were simply assayed unreacted. Spectrophotometric analysis is satisfactory but is of relatively low accuracy because many natural products are colored. For this reason, modern systems use fluorometry which is able to detect much lower levels of raw milk contamination. Unpasteurized milk According to the United States Centers for Disease Control between 1998 and 2011 79% of the dairy-related outbreaks were due to raw milk or cheese products. They report 148 outbreaks, 2,384 illnesses as well as two deaths due to raw milk or cheese products during the same time period. Consumer acceptance as pasteurization is a very old and traditional way of preservation, it is well known and accepted by consumers. Nearly every label of milk products contains the word pasteurization, and it is associated by consumers with good quality attributes and safety. In the consumer studies of high-tech Europe consumers mentioned more positive than negative associations for this technology showing that these products are well accepted. Products that are commonly pasteurized, beer, canned food, dairy products, juices, low-alcoholic beverages, syrups, vinegar, water, wines, See also, food irradiation, flash pasteurization, pascalization, homogenization, pasteurized eggs, solar water disinfection, thermogeric bacteria, food preservation, food storage, food microbiology, sterilization, lamization, Louis Pasteur, references. Raw milk expert testimony dated, April 25, 2008 case, Organic Pastures Dairy Company, LLC and Clovail Farm, Incorporated, Plaintiffs, vs. No.
CU 07-00204 State of California and A.G. Kawamura, Secretary of California Department of Food and Agriculture, Defendants Expert Witnesses, Dr. Theodore Beals and Dr. Ronald Hull External Links, Online Forum on Modern Day Pasteurization Equipment